The travel-weary returning veterans thought they were just going to trudge through a deserted terminal and get picked up for their rides home. So imagine their shock when hundreds of relatives, along with friends, and spouses, of course, lined up to honor the men and women who have made them proud. Since 2005, more than 80,000 veterans, mostly of World War II, have been flown free to Washington, D.C. to see the historic sites they helped protect as part of a program run by the Honor Flights Network. The veterans flew out at 6 a.m. and 18 hours later returned to a hero's welcome that included music, some USO lookalikes, Congressional Representative Bill Young, Medal of Honor winner Gary Luttrell, and Army Major General Carl Horst, the Chief of Staff for the U.S. Central Command. The vets never received a welcome home, and they thought we forgot them, and we have not forgotten them, because that's what honor flights do. They pay tribute and honor to the World War II veterans on this day trip to Washington, D.C. It is a fulfillment of a lifetime of liberty that they gave us. The veterans take in such poignant sights as their own National World War II Memorial, the Korean War Veterans Memorial, the Vietnam Wall, and the Iwo Jima Memorial. During their quick but meaningful trip with the Honor Flights program ferrying in vets from more than 100 hubs in 40 states, they also see or drive past such familiar attractions as the Arlington National Cemetery, the Lincoln Memorial, and the Smithsonian. You had a lot of people that turned out that you had no idea there would be this much concern uh, for uh, for veterans, and and I think there was a display of uh, patriotism and concern, and citizenship by so many people from this area that it was uh, it was very moving. For the U.S., World War II, which was our second deadliest conflict after the Civil War, began at Pearl Harbor in December 1941. Some 16 million Americans served on land, sea, and air before the final surrender was signed here on the deck of the USS Missouri in September of 1945. These men put their lives on the line for us, and the military is still doing that today, and I just want to do everything I can to support them. The system of free flights is the brainchild of a retired Air Force captain who treated veterans as a physician's assistant. All costs are covered by donations, though most at the welcome home would say these veterans made their payment in full some six decades ago. I'm Bob Hill reporting from St. Petersburg Clearwater International Airport.